Dave Rubin has been doing a lot of stuff since we've been gone, and we got to talk about him a little bit. Do we have the clip of uh, of? Did you pull the clip of him, uh, uh, the one where he was on the interview in Britain, and uh, they oh, played the clip okay. of Anna? I have that available if we want to. Okay, go to that yeah, too. let's get that too. It's hilarious. But there is a um, yes, he hears the truth in real time. There's a there's a YouTube guy. Is this Timba on Toast? Is this the guy who does these? Yep, Timba on Toast. T i m b a h and then dot on dot toast. I would recommend people go and watch um, every one of these uh, chapters, essentially, of Dave Rubin's Battle of Ideas. But this is a segment from Dave Rubin's Battle of Ideas, part three. <laughs> and uh, this involves Dave Rubin. Now, look, we played this clip, I think, last week before we left about Sam, uh, Sam Harris. Sam Harris was talking about Tommy, what's that guy's name? Uh, Robinson. Tommy Robinson who was, um, wh- I, if I'm not mistaken, was like arrested in, in Britain for hate speech. He's, uh, you know, I, how would you describe him? I, in my opinion, I would assess him in my view as a, as a far right, uh, my, I would say fascist would be my Anti-Muslim opinion. particularly. Uh, primarily an anti-Muslim activist and affiliated with UKIP and other, and the English Defense League, which definitely has... Uh, and also a member of the British National Party. So, I mean, extreme far right. And at the very least, we know the British uh, perceive him to have been, um, what, uh, guilty of, 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 of something? Inc- that I believe incitement. Incitement or something. I think effect. it was something to that effect. Um, and uh, so, Dave, um, uh, Sam Harris... You know, is talking about like this guy seems perfectly reasonable to me. I only watched an hour long video. I'm not from Britain. I only watched an hour long video of him on uh, on Dave Rubin, but he seemed perfectly rational for an hour, as if like this is a huge accomplishment, as if there isn't a an extraordinary amount of data and uh, and anic data um, that shows that what extremists do is attempt to get into the mainstream and they know they have to play to a more mainstream audience. And that's the way that they basically, you know, create their sales funnel. And Dave Rubin is the sales funnelist of the funnels when it comes to basically uh, sending people down an alt-right rabbit hole. I mean, look, there is a dark web. And the things that happen on the dark web are credit card numbers and social security numbers get sold and racists hang out. <laughs> Child pornography. Right. Okay. So the intellectual Good dark web, it, that, the, they think they're being ironic. But the fact is, is what they are is we are the, we're the ones who basically um, genetically mutate the dark web and bring it out into the open so that people can see it and follow it back down to its rabbit hole. And and this is a perfect example of it. Dave Rubin either does no work about who he has on his guests, just looks at maybe whether they're popular within, uh, you know, alt-right and right-wing circles, or he ignores what he finds so that he doesn't have to deal with stuff that's unpalatable because he wants to sell this to a broader audience. Here is a perfect example of it, as narrated by Timba on Toast. Well, it's parodying itself. Wow. Well, listen, it's powerful stuff, and I, I love doing this, because I think a lot of this, it flips conventional thinking on its head. And whilst we're speaking about Sotomayor, there's another topic which might have been of interest to Dave's viewers, which Dave never brought up. And that is Tommy's controversial stance on Jewish people. Pause it. No, okay, Recently, so he's talking Dave- about an interview that uh, he did of this guy, Tommy so- uh, um, who is, I don't know, is he a YouTube guy or what? I don't exactly Yeah, know. apparently. And uh, so uh, this is going into Ruben's, you know, attacks on people for being anti-Semitic. Good for him. There's a lot of tweets that he's put out there. I'm sure it's been, if you updated it with like the Alan Omar things, he was very offended. But here we go. And that is Tommy's controversial stance on Jewish people. Recently, Dave has been fiercely cracking down on anti-Semitism on Twitter, dealing out some harsh criticism for those who he perceives to be displaying anti-Semitic attitudes. Well, you might say, 
If Dave thinks those people are bad, I can only imagine the hard-hitting questions he'll have for someone who has appeared in podcasts with former Grand Wizard of the KKK, David Duke, and denied the Holocaust. We don't have to go back that far, Dr. Duke. We can go right now to Black Lives Matter. Who started it? Jews. You as a white man should want to push whites in America to become to concentrate more on uh, education because Jews push that to their people and then they push alcohol to your people in mind. They push drugs to your people in mind. I want you guys to understand Jews are financing black folks genocide. This is what's happening. They're financing your genocide. Now, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, well, wait a minute. You can't say that because Jews and the Holocaust and they didn't choose to be in the Holocaust. Yeah, they did. They were, the Jews did the same thing. They literally could have walked out of that situation and said, we don't want to do it. But that ain't what they said. For some reason, although Dave never misses Sorry. the Pause it, pause it. I got a... I have an idea, Shlomo. How about we just walk out of here? Let's... There's an exit nah. side in the other direction. Maybe nah. we could just leave. Nah. But then we won't be able to ply white and black people alcohol later. <laughs> oh, the dilemmas. We're all going to gather around... One of us is going to survive, and it's going to be your job to sell the darkies and the whiteies, uh, the booze and the pills. He'll sell the booze. And your cousin, he's bookish. Eli, you write a whitey book about all this. <laughs> the plan's in place. Okay. So this is TJ Sotomayor, like a series of different videos. It's very uh, that provocative ideas. Provocative uh, ideas. Pro you know, big ideas. I got to tell you, I mean, as someone who, not anymore, but was willing before the like mass incitement against her to say that years before she was a congresswoman, she could have phrased a tweet more uh, differently. Uh, I think this is a, quite a stark contrast to Ilan Omar's ever ready commitment to say i'm willing to learn and i condemn anti-semitism right for some reason although dave never misses the opportunity to go to bare knuckles on twitter for anti-semitism on the left when he's in the presence of someone on the right who explicitly pushes anti-semitism and holocaust denial on a regular basis he avoids the topic completely during the hour-long interview dave never asks sotomayor a single question about this Wow. And there's one more thing which I want to show you before Pause. we move that on. That is that now just contemplate this. That's I mean, I don't know. Maybe those are the only maybe those two different interviews he did with David Duke. And that one time on his video, he um you know, said the Holocaust was basically an opt-in situation for Jews. Um maybe, you know, Dave didn't know about them and did Maybe there was just no way to find that. Like, I don't even know who T.J. Sotomayor is, but of course, I'm not inviting him on the show. Right. And, you know, we don't do extensive, like, online research of our guests. Now, we have four to five times more guests a week, I think, than Dave does. Um, one would think that that would come up in some of your research. What do you think about the Jews? But apparently, even though Dave is such a huge fighter against anti-Semitism, not that much of an issue, doesn't want to scare anybody. I don't want to get into that big idea. Well, as uh, Tim Bontois points out later in the video, Dave is self-consciously having conversations with quote-unquote controversial people, but never does any sort of look into what is controversial about these people. Right, right. <laughs> I wasn't it's really the dark interested. web. You can't say this stuff anywhere else. Well, why don't you ask him why? Why can't you say that stuff? Who's preventing you from going out there and saying on YouTube, like, uh, you know, Holocaust denialism? But it gets even better. I wonder if Dave brought up any other things that maybe this guy has an issue with. This. And there's one more thing which I want to show you before we move on. Foreshadowing this interview with Tommy Sotomayor, Dave delivers a monologue about how open-minded conservatives are compared to the left and highlights their acceptance of LGBTQ rights. Do you know people on the right who are tolerant of people who are for gay marriage and who are pro-choice? I actually do, plenty of them, including several people who I've had on this show. When there is a disagreement, I see way more people on the right, conservatives or libertarians, more often willing to agree to disagree rather than to defriend or to smear. Let's not forget, even Donald Trump got a standing ovation at the Republican National Convention when he talked about protecting LGBTQ rights. This is ironic. Pause because it. it turns 
That was a great standing ovation uh, that he got. Um, transgender people now barred from the military. Um, just today, we had um, uh, more attacks on transgender folks' rights. But eh, as long as he got a, as long as he got a, a clap for it. But go ahead. He talked about protecting LGBTQ rights. This is ironic because, as it turns out. Dave's conservative guest of that episode, Tommy Sotomayor, didn't actually know that Dave was gay. On a live stream months after the interview, one of Sotomayor's fans broke the news to him, and here's how he reacted. Steven said, they hate Dave Rubin because he's a gay man with the wrong opinion. Dave Rubin is gay? No! He got a husband? I did not know. I was in his presence. I didn't know. I shook his hand. Ah, I sat down with him. Why would y'all tell? Why did y'all tell me before I went on his show? Oh, Stephen, why would you send me this? Oh my God, Stephen, you ruined my day. <laughs> Maybe this guy Sotomayor's uh, anti-gay feelings didn't never came up. That was the first time maybe that people were aware that he was anti-gay. I was more interested in talking about ideas. I mean, your reaction really fascinates me. Can we talk about that? We you talk said you about want to that? wash your hand. Like, what is it? <laughs> what does that mean? What are you implying about? You know, it's really. I don't know if we're gonna play the fuller clip though, where basically the guy was on to like trash the black family, like literally like 1960s style, like conservative tripe nonsense. So that is what Dave's interested in. He's not interested in the Holocaust stuff. He's not interested in the homophobia stuff. But the core brand proposition of trashing black people. I would also add, that just going, to circling back in. to uh, Donald Trump's gotten applause for protecting LGBTQ rights. In addition to the trans uh, uh, gender ban in the military, Trump administration is planning to roll back protections for jan transgender patients. While empowering healthcare workers to refuse care based on religious objections. This is according to three officials with knowledge of the pending regulations. Uh, and then this isn't necessarily included, I guess. He didn't get applause for this. But um, uh, the Trump administration um, was asked by uh, to pass a U.N. resolution to end sexual violence in war. Apparently, uh, the United States said uh, no. We're not going to um, do that. They uh, passed a watered-down version diluted by the Trump administration because you don't want to get overly, overly uptight about sexual violence during war. Yeah, where does it end? It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. You start doing it in war, and then all of a sudden you're going to be doing it in domestic in peace. This is civilian life. Civilian.